Today we talk about Teddy. No, it's the mascot of Persona 4 Golden, plus he doesn't have any bones. With that, here are my reasons why Teddy from Persona 4 Golden is Bersona material. Resembling a giant stuffed animal, is an anthropomorphic bear that has blue fur and wears a red and white jumpsuit. You'll also notice that he has a giant zipper around his neck since, well, his head's detachable. And if you ever thought he was empty-headed, well, you're not wrong. Huh, there's nothing inside. <laughs> Thanks a lot, nice guy. Yo, dude, does anything rattle you? When we first met Teddy in the TV world, he was a bit of a scaredy cat. <laughs> his deal. And even downright unbearable. We later find out that he's actually really kind and just wants the murders to stop. I have no one else to turn to. You have to help me. Please promise me you'll find them. Now why in the heck would we go and promise you we'll something do it. like that? <laughs> what? He's actually a very useful bear. If it wasn't for him, the investigation team wouldn't be able to leave the TV world. He has other uses too. His amazing nose allows him to sniff out their victims and suspects within the TV world, even if it does lead them to weird places. Wait, hold on a second. Let's think about this. There definitely are some risks involved. Hey, Teddy, are you absolutely certain Kanji is in there? Never underestimate the sensor that lives in my nose! And don't forget his abilities craft special glasses that allow them to see beyond the fog, which come in a wild variety of designs. <laughs> Yukiko! My bad! I totally forgot! Here! For you! A bear? Why the hell did I get these? <laughs> when they were fighting Naoto's shadow, Narukami and Yosuke both got transformed into bitter old men. Oh, youth! Why is it always wasted on the young? Oh, and don't forget Teddy too. It did take him a while to remember, but he actually has the ability to rejuvenate the party, which is probably a reference to his healing skills. You couldn't have remembered that important tidbit a little bit sooner. It's rude to make your elders wait. Rihanna kiss is awesome! Persona! For the early part of the story, Teddy acts as the main navigator for the investigation crew. That is until Risei joins the crew and steals his job. How are we gonna fight without Teddy back in the- <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can't even finish that. When the team was fighting against Risei's shadow, its analytical ability made it near impossible for them to land a hit. In an effort to save the team, Teddy simply goes berserk on the enemy. My body is just moving on its own! <laughs> and in a weird turn of events, Teddy is suddenly confronted by the so-called shadow self, which is hell-bent on destroying everybody. Luckily, Teddy's stubbornness prevents him from getting swallowed by the abyss. Next thing we know, Shadow Teddy is defeated along with Teddy, flat as a pancake. In this pivotal moment, Teddy develops an ego and is granted his very own persona, which is carrying a missile for some reason. While the team is resting up from the case, Teddy on the other hand is working tirelessly, doing them sit-ups. Bury myself in training! You just wait until I make my comeback! It's gonna be a major event! And you'll be begging for my help again! Yeah. Next thing we know, he's around again, and this time, he's in the human world. While out dining with Teddy, he begins to feel hot and decides to take off his costume. Uh, ah, oh, what the? Ah, much better. Turns out, he managed to grow a human inside of him, and for the best reasons ever. See, I grew this body so I could try and score with Chie and Yukiko. You grew a human just to score? I really do wish we could drop that subject. This of course means that they need to get him some new threads. On Yosuke's credit, of course. Next thing we know, the blonde-haired and blue-eyed Teddy is now wearing a rather flamboyant white shirt with a cute red flower on it, just so he can score. Despite developing a human form, he still prefers his costume when inside the TV world. Why are you still wearing that thing? Because this is what I feel more comfortable in when I'm over on this side! In contrast to Yosuke, Teddy seems to openly swing both ways. I'd like to try a taste. What do you say? Cook me up some of that meat. Oh, I'd really love to, but I'm afraid um, that I would get What's he in doing? Trouble. One time we arrived to an innocent Teddy welcoming us home. Now, 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 come in, come in. Give me one of those honey, I'm home kisses. During the exchange, he gets all curious about what glomping is. And right when we we're about to show it. What the hell are you two doing? During the King's game, he had the honor of being the king for the first round. He unknowingly picked Kanji's number, and well, he was pretty open about it. Go on, admit it, you had your eyes on me for a long time. During the school festival, he participated in the cross-dressing competition, and well, he nailed it. <sighs> Shooby -tooby -too. my love is a weapon! <laughs> the results are in! The winner of this prestigious prize, the last minute entry, Miss! 
Being the humble bear that he is, he couldn't have done this without Naoto, who surprisingly did his makeup. As the winner, he gets to judge the girls' competition, where he adds an extra special segment. The girls' beauty pageant will now have a swimsuit competition! Yeah! So yeah, we actually have Teddy to thank for that. Hey there, I'm Rosette! She's got idle hotness in all the right places! Outside the TV, Teddy lives a simple life of living with Yosuke and working at Juness. Sometimes as a mascot, passing out balloons to little kids, while at other times he's helping Yosuke do inventory at the warehouse. Yosuke's wallet probably takes a hit due to Teddy's incredible appetite, which makes sense as he's quite the athlete. Teddy, huh? big bro, are you guys horny? When the gang decide to head to the beach, they each use their scooters. Well, except for Teddy and Kanji. These two simply defy the laws of physics by overtaking the crew with just Kanji on a bicycle and Teddy on roller skates, which is pretty good for a guy without any bones, as seen on his x-ray. Being the mischievous little bear that he is, he too grabbed the medical files of everyone else. I have the results of everyone's physical exams! What? I mean, it would be awfully embarrassing if I was the only one to be fully exposed! He's actually a pretty funny bear. During the school trip, he was afraid that he'd get lonely and decides to tag along, later making his mysterious entrance. In case you haven't noticed, Teddy loves his bear puns. You abandoned me! You get lonely? Yes! And I became a very gloomy bear! Yeah, yeah, cut the crap. Did you just call my feelings crap? Even Narakami admits he's got it tough. <gasps> Teddy's got it very tough. Persona. Some big spoilers in this next segment. Teddy's personal struggles throughout the story had always been about his identity as just a soulless shadow. But when Nanako was very sick, Teddy was right by her side, showing the most humanity towards the situation. I actually felt really bad for him, and his reaction finding out that Nanako pulled through was priceless. Teddy, Nanako is alive. What? R really? Nanako's alive? Oh, I'm a happy, happy bear! Thank goodness! Oh, thank goodness! Persona! To end on a high note, let's talk about Teddy's attempts at scoring. Most of the time, he fails, but he is persistent. And all the ladies like Teddy! We'd never forget about you, Teddy. Sometimes we even think about you. Does that mean I can still score with you? <laughs> nice recovery. If you'd like, I'd be happy to personally assist you. What do you girls say? Shut it, bear! During the summer festival, the group came to a dilemma of pairing up with four guys and three girls. However, Teddy graciously took one for the team. Well, I've made my decision. I want Chie-chan and Yuki-chan and Rise-chan for my partner. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. Oh. There are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. I just couldn't let that happen. What? You little... So what do you think about Teddy? Would you let him guide you through the TV world? Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment about Teddy, our favorite Midnight Channel Shadow.